This video will talk about simple interest applications. So this is simple interest. It's probably the simplest ones we can have. I is equal to P times R times T. And um, I is the interest. P is the principal. And the R is your rate. And you have to be sure that you write your rate as a decimal. And then we have T, which is going to be time, and it's usually in years. So we have a finance company offers a payday loan, a small $75 loan, um, to help people get it get buy until payday, usually no longer than two weeks, but we're going to do time in years, so that's going to be important right here. If the cost of this service is $18.75, determine the annual interest rate of interest charged by this company. So let's see what we have. We have a small loan of $75, and this is going to be our P. That's how much we're putting in. And then we have this two weeks, which is going to be our T, but we've got to think about the weeks. And then they tell us this 1875 and that's going to be our I. They want us to find R. Okay, determine R. So let's write our formula. I, we said was 1875, is equal to the principal, which is 75, times the rate, which we don't know, times the time, which is two weeks. We know that there's 52 weeks in a year. So since we're going into years, we can write it with respect to weeks. So we have 2 over 52. So 2 per our 52 weeks, or it's 1 26th of a year. So it's really going to be times 1 over 26. So what do we have here? Simple, make it look a little nicer now. 75 times 1 over 26 would be 75 over 26 times r, which we're trying to solve for. This is our unknown. So we would want to multiply both sides by 26 over 75. When you divide by a fraction, remember you multiply by its reciprocal. And if we take that, I have not done that in my calculator, so I'll have to pull that up. And I'm just going to literally, I can have a decimal answer. I want a decimal answer, but I'm literally just going to say 26 divided by 75 in parentheses times my 18. 0.75 and we find out that that answer is 6.5 so r is 6.5 but remember we have to move the decimal two places to be able to figure out what the percentage is so that is actually 650 percent what does that tell you about getting a payday loan so now we're going to talk about the total amount accumulated that's this a accumulated value and to do that you take your principal but then you add to that the principal times the rate times the time you so this is our interest okay this is the principal plus our interest if you think about it but we wrote it this way so that you could see that we have a common factor of p so we wrote p out here and then we were left with one p times one and rt so that's we're going to use it as a is equal to p times one plus the rate times the time so our problem business is a new strip mall emma's custom card shop borrows fifty thousand dollars so that's the principal of this in this account from a group of investors at 4.55 percent that's our rate although we have to make it a decimal and the business booms and blossoms enabling emma to repay the loan fairly quickly if she pays 62,500, which is the accumulated amount, how long will it take? How long was she using this loan? So we have, let's write it again, A is equal to P times 1 plus RT. It's simple interest, so it's just RT. So A is the 62,500, and we said we were investing 50,000 times 1 plus, and then we've got our rate over here, 4.55% remember you have to divide by 100 or move the decimal two to the left so here's tens there's hundreds so we're going to have 0 0.0455 for our rate and then for our time we're going to have a t because we don't know how long that is that's what they're asking us for this is a pretty straightforward problem we have something in parentheses where our t is so we have to clear everything away from the parentheses so we're going to end up with 62,500 divided by our 50,000 and that's going to be equal to 1 plus 0 0.0455t now we have a linear equation and I'm just going to leave it like this because I only want to get my calculator at once so 62,500 divided by 50,000 and I'm subtracting my 1 will it be equal to 0 0.0455t and if I move to where I have more space, the last thing I'm going to do is take my 62,500 divided by my 50,000, subtracting 1, 
and all of that I will divide by 0 0.0455. Now I'm ready to look at my calculator because I need to know that as a time. That doesn't really mean anything to me. Literally, like I see it, parentheses, 62,500 divided by 50,000 and then minus 1. Order of operations will divide before I subtract, so I'm okay there. Close my parentheses divided by 0 0.0455. And when I press enter, I find out that it's going to take about five and a half years.